Hi there, I'm Secretary Jennifer Granholm. Today, I'm gonna to answer some commonly searched questions about clean energy. So, let's get started. How can I save on my energy bill? Okay, let's start with some quick tips that you can do to help lower your energy bill. So, many ceiling fans have the ability to change directions. So in the summer, turn your fan counterclockwise, which causes the fan blades to push cool air in a downward motion and obviously makes the room feel cooler. And then in the winter months, change the blade direction to clockwise, which will push warm air away from the ceiling and keep you warm. Another thing you can do is switch to energy efficient lighting and that can save an average household $200 a year by using LED light bulbs. But it's more than just a few DIY tips. President Biden's Investing in America agenda is designed to help consumers save energy and save money. I've traveled across the country talking to homeowners from Massachusetts to Utah to Wisconsin, all taking advantage of energy efficient upgrades for weatherization. If you don't know what you need, don't worry. You can get 150 bucks off a home energy assessment to find areas that can make your home more efficient and start slashing your home energy bills. Through weatherization improvements and upgrades, households can save up to hundreds of dollars on their energy bills. So, can a heat pump also cool a home? Well, installing a heat pump in your home is a win, 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 and let me tell you why. Now, most folks don't realize that installing a heat pump won't just heat your home, but it's also gonna cool it. And thanks to the Investing in America agenda, homeowners can get 30% off the cost and installation of a new heat pump. Keeping you comfortable, lowering energy costs, cutting home emissions, that's what I call a win-win. Okay, do EVs work when it's cold? Short answer, yes. Your EV will still work when it's cold and in hot weather too. Because weather challenges aren't limited to electric vehicles, in low temperatures, all vehicle batteries, including cars with gas-powered engines, they all face issues if proactive measures aren't taken. To help prepare your EV for colder weather, start with opting for covered parking, if possible. Just like gas-powered cars, EVs tend to run better when they're protected from freezing temperatures by parking indoors or in a covered place. Another tip is to warm up your vehicle before driving. All vehicles, EVs included, perform best in cold weather when they're warmed up first. And guess what? Unlike gas-powered vehicles, running your EV in your garage or out on the street doesn't produce harmful fumes. Okay, how can I save money when buying an appliance? With President Biden's Investing in America agenda, there are so many ways consumers can save money. Depending on your income and where you live, you might qualify for $840 off the purchase of a new stove. And that's on top of what you could save on your energy bill. What is a clean energy job? Well, since President Biden took office, over 600 new or expanded clean energy manufacturing facilities have been planned for communities across the nation. And that means good paying jobs for American workers, building American made products, manufactured from Alaska to Maine and almost every state in between. In fact, the President's Investing in America agenda is gonna create more than 1.5 million additional jobs over the next decade. 75% of them won't even require a four year or advanced degree. Even more, the president's agenda is giving employers generous incentives to pay good wages and to use registered apprentices. And for young folks looking for future facing careers in clean energy, you can check out the new American Climate Corps. And that should do it. Don't forget to visit www.energy.gov save to answer all of your clean energy questions.